What's going on everyone it is day 15 of the produce section challenge where I show you just how easy and affordable it is to eat healthy. So first up I've got some dill and that's going to cost me $1.49. Next I've got some mint and that's also going to be $1.49. Here's a cucumber and that's going to cost me $0.99. Cents. I've also got a couple carrots and those are going to cost me around $0.35. Cents. Here's an eggplant and that's going to cost me $1.49. I also have a red pepper, and that's gonna cost me $1.25. Here's a lemon, and that's 79 cents. I also have a couple shallots, and those are gonna cost me around 65 cents. So here's some potatoes. These are gold potatoes, and they're gonna cost me around $1.50. I also have a clove of garlic, and that's gonna cost me 50 cents. Here's a can of garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, and those are gonna cost us $1. Let's add in some fruit. So here's a banana, 18 cents. Mangoes are still on sale, so that's gonna cost us 67 cents. So the last thing I got is a grapefruit, and that's gonna cost me 99 cents. So I've got a basket full of food. Let's see how much this is gonna cost us. So the total today was $13.80. That's not bad considering how much food I got. I'm definitely gonna have leftovers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat my oven to 450 degrees and add in the potatoes and the eggplant. I'm also gonna add a clove of garlic to the oven. Next, I'm going to dice my cucumber and add it to the bowl. Then I'm going to add my red pepper to the bowl. I'm also going to add in my shallots now I'm going to add in some mint to my shallots, peppers, and cucumbers. Now I'm going to squeeze half of my lemon into the bowl. I use a strainer to catch any of the seeds. I'm then going to add some fresh ground sea salt and stir my salad. Next I'm going to add my potatoes with a little bit of garlic and some filtered water to the pan. When my potatoes are almost finished, I'm going to add in some fresh dill and some salt to add some flavor. While the potatoes finish, I'm going to take my roasted garlic and add it to the blender. Next, I'm going to add chickpeas to the roasted garlic. I'm also going to add half of a lemon, some filtered water, and some salt, and then blend. While that blends, I'm going to add some of my baked eggplant to the pan. Make sure to keep adding water to the blender until you get it to be a creamy consistency. So what you end up with is a creamy roasted garlic hummus. So I cook my eggplant until it gets nice and charred on the bottom. So next I'm going to top my crispy eggplant with some of that homemade hummus and some fresh dill. I'm then going to chop up my carrot and add it to some of my leftover red pepper. I just finished slicing my fruit, so for breakfast, I'm going to have some fresh mango, some fresh banana, and a whole grapefruit. For lunch, I'm going to have eggplant topped with roasted garlic hummus and fresh dill. I'm also going to have roasted potatoes with dill and garlic. For a snack, I'm going to have cut up carrot sticks and red peppers along with a roasted garlic hummus dip. For dinner, I'm gonna have a cucumber salad that's got red peppers, shallots, lemon juice, and a little bit of salt. So that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed today's food and make sure to check back here on Instagram and on Facebook to see more produce section challenges.